people, this is Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install XBMC onto the Amazon Fire. Uh, so the reason you'd want to do that is basically so you can stream movies or personal videos um, from your computer. I actually have my video set up on the NAS over to your Amazon Fire, which you can't really do easily or natively unless you install this app. So basically, first thing we're gonna do is you wanna go into settings, and we're gonna go over here to system. And then the cat is gonna meow at you. <laughs> um, so then basically, then we have developer options. And you wanna make sure that this DADB debugging is on. So that is on. And then we're going to go to applications. Actually, sorry. Go back to system. And we're going to find the IP address. So it's wired right now, which is good. I'm going to go to about. I'm going to go down to network. So we have an IP address of 192.168.5.04. So we're going to remember that. I'm going to put that in the next stage. So now what we're going to do is we're going to continue on install. And to do that, we're going to need to download some software. So here I have a, I have a website. I'll give you a link in the show notes on kind of step-by-step -step everything we need to do. So we're going to get this software called ADB Fire. Um, so as you scroll down, they're just going to give you a guide on um, where to get this. So we're a Windows Mac user. And the download is right here. This is the download. I'm going to download this. I've already downloaded it um, and extracted it. So basically, the software is going to look something like this. Um, you're going to first want to add your device. Also, make sure that it says down here ADB running. Make sure that is running. Uh, but we're going to add our device. So we take that number from before, 192.168.5.104. I'm going to add that in. So you're going to click New. You're going to put in your new device, Amazon, and put the IP address here. And basically, just leave the rest uh, default. And just you're going to click Save. So I've already done that, and that's in here. And as you can see, it says Connected, which is a good sign. Now we're going to install the APK pack. So that's going to basically install it. Now, oh, let's skip a step. First, we need to download it, of course. Um, so they give you a link right here where to download it. Um, and so you can just click download and download that. And so the, the, you actually might want to go to the website because I think there's a newer version. This is giving you a 14.1, a and there should be a version 15.2, which is the one I'm going with. So make sure you Google, make sure that's the latest version when you're downloading there. Um, so now we're going to basically install. I'm going to select that download. I'm going to do the latest version 15.2 right now. It's going to confirm. And then it might take uh, a couple minutes for this to send over. And now you can see it says installed. So we're going to verify that now on the device. Okay, now so we want to make sure that this um, XBMC got installed. So what you're going to do is again go to settings. You're going to click applications. You can go to the very bottom. And you're going to click managed applications. And you're going to scroll down. You should see here it is Cody here. Uh, you also, depending on the version you install, might need to scroll further down and it might be called uh, XBMC, dep depending on which version you, you actually installed. So I'm going to click that. And you're going to click Launch App. I've already launched it once, so it's opening up very fast. But the first time it boots up, it might take a little while to get um, loaded up. So that's about it. Um, that's going to be how to install XBMC on your Amazon Fire. If you have any questions, let me know. One quick tip, 
um, that you can do is also install this Fired TV using the same app and the same process. Just Google this Fired TV. It's just nice because rather than go to that application data folder, you can get it right in your home screen and quickly get into your different apps. Um, it's a little bit buggy, but for the most part, it works pretty good. So that's one little tip I'd give you uh, to quickly get into your different apps rather than have to browse the settings, applications, and all that stuff. So I uh, hope you liked my video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave in the comments. Thanks.